Welcome to Crossdale's Tips and Tutorials in Business Central. Today we're going to add the customer's birthday to the customer card. The first thing we need to do is go over to Visual Studio and open up our project. I already have one set up. If you don't know how to do that, you can find the tutorial on my page called Creating and Deploying an Extension to Business Central. What we can do is first of all, we're going to install a new extension called the AZAL DevTools. You can search AZAL, click install. Once that's done, come back, right click inside the Explorer, click new AL file wizard and select what we want. The first thing we want is a table extension. So first of all, we're going to work out what table we need to extend easiest way of doing that come back to business central press control alt f1 and here we can see the table and the page that we're on so we're on customer table and the page is customer card the page will come in a second let's go back to the extension wizard we're going to give it a name that name will be customer table extension now you can name this what you want however I do usually like to keep extensions bundled into the same thing so a customer table extent all of the customer table extensions will go in one place all of the sales lines will go in another place all of the sale orders rather than have what I'm adding I'm just keeping it all in one neat place and second of all the table that we're going to extend. That's the customer table. And then we're going to add the field here that we want to add. So we're going to add birthday. Its data type will be date. And click finish. I must have mistyped that. You can just complete that here. So this should read like this now. Ignore any messages, we don't. This is not required for this. So we have our table extension. And if I deploy this quickly by pressing F5, we'll go to the customer. And actually, you'll see it hasn't appeared yet. That's because we just added the field to the table, but not to the page. So if you remember, we open the page inspector tool with control o f1 and we realized that the page we were on is the customer card first one other thing we need to do is just work out whereabouts we'd like to add that field for now i think we're going to add it under the last date modified so let's go back to visual studio code let's create a new extension uh, a new file we want to add a page extension. I'm going to call this customer page extension. And we are going to extend the customer card. Just to show you one more time, the page is called customer card. And we are extending the customer card. Hit finish. Make a little bit of space here. So what we want to say is we want to extend the layout and after the last date modified field, we want to add our field of birthday. This doesn't auto fill this. I always like to add uh, this the record. It will actually warn you use of implicit with will be removed in the future. So you just type rec.birthday. And one last thing, we need to specify what's called an application area. And we will set that to all. Let's stop. And redeploy with F5. And now, when we view our customer, 
you'll see a birthday field has been added. And then this gives you a nice little drop down because it's a date type field. You can select a birthday. This is a very young person. And if we come out and go back in, you'll see the date has saved. Thanks for watching.